welcome back so let us prepare our next chart for the dashboard and that is going to be the relationship between sales and marketing expense and it is going to be an area chart again well that is my preference actually i like that on the dashboard but you can of course change the chart according to your own choice so to add the new chart first of all i will go to add the new worksheet and in that new worksheet i will drag down the sales from here to the rows and I will also drag down the marketing expense from here to the rows and after that I will go back to the calendar and dra drag down the date field from here to the columns so we have this basic structure now let us change the chart type from this one to the area chart and finally drag down this marketing expense from here to the sales so that we have one chart and let us expand this chart to represent it at quarter levels or even better at the monthly levels so that is it my chart is ready uh, of course we should be changing the colors so i will click on this color and i will say edit colors and first of all let me choose the different theme from here so i will pick up the lightning dark and i will say for sales let us pick up the light color this blue color here and for marketing expense let us pick up the dark one so they are going to be closed so for sales i'm going to pick up this light blue in fact and for marketing expense this purple one will be fine let us click on apply and let us see how it is looking so i think it is not looking very nice so let me change the sales to dark green and if i do that let me click here first and click on dark green click on apply and I think I will stick back to blue so that was better for me so I will click OK and now this chart is ready finally let us remove the axis so just click here on the axis and click on show header uncheck that uncheck this one as well and let us change the heading to sales and marketing expense sales and marketing expense let us change the font size and color so select that make it to verdana change the font size to 10 make it in the blue font and that should be okay click on apply and click on okay and finally we have these background lines i don't want to see that for that i will go to format and i will click on lines here in this grid lines in the rows i will select none and you can see that lines have gone finally let us name this sheet as well and let's name is uh, name it as sales and marketing of course you may like to name them in shorter word and let us go back to our dashboard and now from this dashboard icon let us click on this sales sales and marketing sheet add on dashboard and select this visual go to layout make it floating so that it is easily visible and adjust the size and drag it down to this place so of course this is not very nicely presented dashboard at the moment don't worry about that we will be fixing it uh, the overall layout once we have all the visuals that we wanted so that is it i will stop this lecture for now and i will move to the next visual in the next lecture